Hi friends. Um, so today I didn't really want to make a video because I'm not feeling my best. Mm, but at the same time I have tons of parcels waiting to be opened and there are sellers that are waiting for some feedback so I really should do an unboxing. I want to take this opportunity to speak a little, not in much detail at all about mental health. Sometimes when I feel down I just don't want to do anything but at the same time doing anything would really help actually so I have to force myself and today I'm doing it and so I'm sorry if I don't have the best energy maybe be patient with me and let's just enjoy the dolls together our dolls that I've been wanting for such a long time so I'm sure they will make my day better <laughs> eventually and it always passes I don't know why um, if it's just a coincidence or if dolls in Monster High in particular are a magnet for really sensitive people. I started chatting with some of the people, uh, like with some of them I just chat once in a while, with some of them I chat every day. All of them have some kind of struggle going on in their life. Well, I guess almost everybody does. It looks like these dolls really, really help. Uh, so I remember a few years ago, it was around 2015, I was dealing with a, a very, very strong depression. And, and I was at home, I couldn't go to work. And I start, and that's when I started watching Monster High video. And in particular, I was watching the channel that is called My Word Now. So there was Melissa and and her child. And now, if you know the channel, it's just Melissa reviewing dolls. And hi, Melissa, if you ever. Uh, happen to watch one of my videos I want to thank you because you really really helped during the time so I couldn't do anything uh, anything creative and although I I love drawing I couldn't draw the only thing that gave me comfort was watching doll unboxing and doll reviews and that's how I got into Monster High and Monster High always saves the day for some reason either is it watching the movie or growing my collection or chatting with people that have the same passion Monster High always helps so this was just a small preface about my mental health and I'm alright it's just that some days I feel less energy than others but let's just check what dolls I got this time so this is the Fierce Rockers line and again, I wonder if there's a stand that I can use somewhere. So of course this is Claudine from the Fierce Rockers line and look at how beautiful she is. I love it when Claudine has different hair than usual and this blue is it like indigo blue and it's mixed with some purple and it's so pretty and look at her makeup she's so fierce like Claudine is always fierce but this Claudine is especially fierce and she's carrying this cool guitar with two half moons or what they call crescents and she has a faux fur vest these cool leggings and these killer, killer shoes that are still held by elastic. Leave it right here, yes. Then another one from the same line is this beautiful Gina Fire. And as you might know, Gina Fire is not amongst my favorites, but she is really cool. Look at the different shades of green in her hair. 
and as usual she's wearing some dress that is reminiscent of a kipao or chipao I'm not sure how to pronounce it if you know uh, please correct me um, but it's like a modern version that has like a mini skirt underneath and very cool shoes that have dragons can you see them hmm. okay yeah I guess it's focusing and she is playing like this kind of 80s keyboard also with a dragon so yeah I, I really like this this Gina fire and her makeup is flames so how cool is that and we have like uh, what is it electric drums e drums and this is the instrument that Venus is playing mm. okay let's put her here and this Venus wow she is really really amazing look at her her hair is super long Venus always have some shave side sometimes it's just one side uh, sometimes both and uh, sometimes it's an undercut so she has both sides shaved so she almost has like a super long mohawk she also has some cool makeup with me so is it some spikes some kind of plant thing and just as uh, Gina fire has she has this kind of uh, plastic transparent material and a cool skirt and really simple but cool spiky shoes and of course her signature vines and she has elastics that are holding her little drumsticks so she can play her drums here. and last but not least is my favorite my favorite um, she is Katy Noir and this Katy is so beautiful I, I, I decided to not have the signature Katy because yeah I like her but I don't really like gowns um, many people like big gowns for dolls so I much prefer this one and look at how cool she has one side is a long leg pant and the other side is just cut like shorts so it's like a, a romper it's all one piece is it yeah it's all one piece and with this intricate belt Mm. The bracelets are very similar, similar to the ones that she has in her signature version and I just noticed that opposite to the long leg uh, she also has a long sleeve and opposite to the short she, she has a short sleeve and then she has this mm, cuff I would say it's a cuff on her leg and her shoes are very very this nice uh, teal, teal color that's also in her hair and the makeup is just stunning it, it's all silver and, and pink and I like the fact that the silver contrasts nicely with her skin I actually have Tormolai and I, I don't think that I've ever shown her to you uh, but she's in a bin because I still haven't bought new cabinets so <laughs> um, so I don't have where to put them and I want them to be protected it's a very very light parcel but it has a lot of tape so let's start working on that I really can't wait to have new cabinets I've been checking on the IKEA website and and I went there thinking that I would buy two more of the same ones so these are Billy shelves with Augsburg uh, glass doors and I really like them and they are cheap 
considering the good quality uh, they're really cheap but uh, they're not perfect for dolls because they have a lot of wood that covers the doors so I was checking and they actually have some sort of cabinet that is completely different so I thought I make, might get two of those but I am very undecided so this Claudine is from the pack of trouble and it's a four pack that I also wanted for a while but it was always like the only listing that I could find were new in box um, but since I only collect this collector dolls and the SDCC dolls and the Sweet Screams dolls new in box it wasn't worth spending so much money just to open them you know so I've been waiting to find the complete pack of trouble out of box and I never did but I found this Claudine and Claude, uh, Claudia and Howline are in the bin and I will show them to you another time I really I really like these uh, they're so cozy it looks like they reunited me before <laughs> For a family event and their mom told them that they had to all wear stripes <laughs> and that's so cute because I don't know they, they look a little a little dorky with these stripey things but I guess it was like for a family picture so this Claudine is very very simple but yeah you know she's hanging at home with her siblings of course she has to have killer shoes a wedge no is it a wedge kind of shoe or is it more a uh, no uh, no heel kind of shoe it's it's like a, a hybrid of, of the two things she has her earrings although they are mostly covered by her hair but they're there I want to set her up with her siblings and maybe make a nice scene so this is a big bigger box <coughs> don't remember what's in here <clears throat> it might be a hydration station and I already have it <clears throat> but I I wanted the other things <clears throat> that this seller was selling so I just got the whole lot like I usually do and I will just resell whatever is a double for me this is definitely a hydration station and mine is not complete with all the accessories so let's take it out okay it's not easy okay, okay i guess everything that is inside is falling out okay okay well i won't show you the hydration station because it has no water in it anyway so uh, yeah, that's that I'm sure you know how it looks like <laughs> and it's already in my collection and I hope I'm not losing any little bits and pieces so I got this hydration station because the Laguna that comes with it has this fashion pack that I was looking to get and I think it's not that common I don't know if it's really rare but it's not that common I have never I never see things for it so and this is one of my favorite lagunas so the tired laguna is one of my favorites so I might keep this one in this outfit not sure yet and she comes with friends which is always a plus so this outfit is complete I love the glasses and it has this kind of slouchy bag I don't know what bag this is supposed to look like um, but yeah this is the complete outfit it's it's a bit 70s a bit beachy and yeah the the glasses are definitely what sold it to me so yeah I might keep this one as she is unless I find a different Laguna 
uh, to put in it and in that case I would sell this Laguna with her original outfit that is here and it's complete uh, the face mask is here and the slippers are here too then in the lot there was also this little water bottle that is part of the hydration station set sorry my nail snapped um, and then what else i think i i already had the little diary but i didn't have the little pen so now that's complete too and there's another neptuna and i already oh it's this is yeah it's the same neptuna that comes with a signature um laguna but at the moment i don't have a neptuna in the hydration station so i will put her there and then there's the other accessories that i did already have so her little things so i will put this in the hydration station that i'm going to sew and then i got a very cute Draculaura outfit and I love this one and it's really uncomfortable. So this outfit is the fashion pack for the newspapers club um, and it comes with a little shirt, a striped shirt with a ball, this cute maroon shorts with suspenders and this legging that look like new newspapers print. Very very cute. And a little camera and little camera even has a little little film inside can you see it yeah. Uh, so yeah I guess I didn't get the shoes for this one which is too bad ah, and very very important the little hat I think the shoes are not impossible to find but the hat usually always goes missing so this will be very cute outfit to sell all together mm, and this is what was in this little lot but yeah my main focus was this outfit what about what do you think about the other dolls and yeah again sorry for the low energy um, but thank you for being here and see you next time bye